Every time I talk about environmental chemicals and the dangers that their effects have on our health and especially our gut health, there's always a certain amount of people who want to come out and for some reason defend these chemicals and defend the corporations and governments that uh, protect them. And, and I don't know necessarily why, but they'll say there's no science, it's all fear tactics, and none of those statements are true. There's more than enough research emerging that shows even with these major corporations throwing all this money at governments to block any of this research, there's still so much research emerging that shows these chemicals are not good for our body. They destroy our gut, they destroy our overall health. I think that probably the, my guess is the main reason people want to defend it is because they get overwhelmed and think, well, gosh, everything can kill me. This is silly. Instead of going, well, okay, I get it, but can I slowly remove one thing at a time and replace it? Because of course you can, it's just step by step. So I love a lot of these smaller specific studies that are targeting things one at a time so that no one can say, oh, you're just lumping all chemicals together. So there was a great study fairly recently done by some Swedish immunologists that looked at what happens with commercial dishwashers, like the commonly used in restaurants, and how they leave behind a chemical residue from the dishwashing detergent that's very toxic to the gastrointestinal tract. And this absolutely can translate into our own homes, even though there are a couple differences in the way restaurants clean than in home, but let's get into that. So with professional grade dishwashers, they will wash and dry loads of plates and cutlery really fast, faster than our own dishwashers do. They might typically use a 60 second circulating hot water and detergent cycle at high pressure, something like that. And then it might go through another cycle to dry and then it's done. And what they found in this study is that many of these washers leave a toxic residue on the plates. Now it's toxic, not because of the dishwasher, but because of the detergent they're using. But so I would argue if that's the same detergent we're using at home, which for most people it is, are our dishwashers at home getting rid of all of it and therefore all the toxins anyway? Especially when we can go and get safer options, which I'll touch on shortly. So knowing how these commercial dishwashers operate, the authors of this study went and had a look at, well, what does this leftover residue of toxicity do to the lining of the gut, the epithelial barrier, which is the, the one layer of cells we have that protects our gut, has the tight junctions, and hopefully stops any leaky gut from happening because we know a weak barrier there leads to leaky gut and all the terrible chronic health effects we get from that. Hey there, if you're struggling with gut health, I just wanted to let you know about my free Facebook gut health support group. You'll see it on the screen here. Just click the link and you can join that. We cover all sorts of more in-depth tips on what testing to do, how to deal with underlying biotoxins, things like that. So jump in the group, I'd love to have you in there. Anyway, back to the video. So residue and some human cells after someone ate in a restaurant that they chose and looked at it under a microscope. And results showed that exposure to these rinse aids put the gut barrier in dire jeopardy. It would cause all sorts of leaky gut and the higher the doses, the more they wiped out some of these cells from existence completely. It didn't just shrink them like some chemicals do and make more le leaky gut, completely wiped them out. And so then people who had lower doses of this fared a lot better, but it still created leaky gut. So another uh, observation that the authors noted was that it also activated certain genes and proteins that promote inflammation. And so why would we want to expose ourselves to these chemicals that we can see through the science are absolutely creating havoc within our guts, which we know is going to cause all sorts of other chronic health issues. And one of the authors even said this, and I quote, the effect that we found could mark the beginning of the destruction of the gut's epithelial layer and trigger the onset of many chronic diseases. It is important to inform the public about this risk since these ethoxylates seem to be commonly used in commercial dishwashers or commercial dishwashing detergent. So the findings of this study are in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology. So it's not just me saying this, this is what these researchers are showing. So again, I say knowing this, why would we ever buy commercial dishwasher detergents? You've got so many other toxin-free soaps and, and cleaners you can use. Like in my house, we use an essential oil-based one that has no chemicals whatsoever. Then you can also get whole house soft water systems and uh, filtration systems like that to pull a lot of the nasty chemicals out of the tap water that's then rinsing all your stuff and your cups and obviously you're gonna get that too. It's so easy to start making little changes one at a time. Don't go change everything, but I've often talked about how you can hook an ozone cleaner up to your uh, washing machine detergent and mold issue in one. Then you could go and get healthier essential oil-based dishwashing detergent. Maybe you build up to getting a whole house water filtration system, whatever it is, but this can all be done. 
But if you suspect any leaky gut issues, you must look at how many environmental toxins is my body holding on to because that gives us such a good clue of where you're not detoxing properly, where you're getting more exposure. So if you don't have a good functional medicine doctor or health practitioner to work with, then go into the, the description of this video, find my link to a discovery call. Let's book a call together and spend 45 minutes getting to the bottom of whatever health issues are going on with you.